Hello, hello everybody. This is Richard here coming to you from the Terraform Homestead. For those of you who are new to our channel, we are a nonprofit based out of the Sonoran Desert that teaches natural building, sustainable living, off-grid living. This week we are continuing our series on our Hyper Adobe Tiny House build. This has been so much work. It's layer after layer after layer, but it's so cool to see the process of this getting taller and taller every day. We still have a lot of work to do on it, but be sure to watch to the end to see how this progresses over this episode. Thank you guys for watching and let's get into it. Did every life accounted for Grow your guard and find your tribe Let your heart's burning sigh Move your body towards the light Raising up a new world From the ground we are Cruise cranking away on the next course I'm working on stairs, so we got all these cut. I'm getting just some little details put on, and then we're gonna be Sosugi bonding all of these and getting them up. With the next course, we'll have um, the first stair go in, a little spiral up to the loft. our first stair in um, so eventually I'll need to build some little supports to go under these but we'll basically have kind of a spiral staircase going up but we got our first conduit lines in so those are basically gonna be so we can feed electricity to here and I think when we're all said and done with this um, we're gonna be moving our camp electrical batteries and everything over here because it's gonna be the most secure temperature controlled place is going really fast though I mean we're five days in and already I think gotten two feet of bags done something like that if you count the underground portion you know if we're getting two courses a day done a couple times a week I think we can get this done pretty quick to give you guys a little tour we got our first stair in I don't know if you can see there we go and so I will get some supports under there that's gonna go up to our little loft area here. And then we're gonna experiment and do a little step down. And so we kind of make a right and you go up the stairs, you make a left, you go down the stairs to a little cozy den hangout area sort of thing. Plan right now is under the stairs where we've got our conduit um, going through. That's where we're gonna start housing our solar setup. Yeah, we got all of our stairs cut. So Sugi Bond and started getting them oiled. Um, we are on day six of our build. Um, so I'm over here starting the day with these. Um, so these are some more drain irrigation or something pipes. I don't know, something I found cheap at Home Depot. Um, and we're getting these cut down so that we can make some bottle bricks. So what are bottle bricks? Bottle bricks are old white bottles, liquor bottles, things like that. We embed in the wall and it looks really cool. Let's the sun shine, sun shine through and also uses some of the waste that would go to the dump into a piece of art. Um, today is, I think, day six, and we've done seven courses now. Yep, seven. It's coming along. I think we're going to try and crank out six courses a week is sort of the goal. So in about a month, we'll be done with bag work. I started playing with the bottles, so we'll have to see how this dries out. Um, but I think if we can make it work, this is going to look really, really cool. Ooh, 
we just got a bunch of sand, about 15 tons for our build. This is all concrete, cement, sand. It's gonna help us out, big time savings. Um, I would have preferred to have gotten everything from the land, but um, with my truck being old and uh, the wash being eh, about 20 minute drive away, it was just a lot of time going out to the wash, doing 45 minutes or so per half ton. We are on course number eight right now. It is a nice, cold, blistery Arizona blizzard winter day. Last two days has been super rainy and cold and windy. We've finally gotten just a little bit of reprieve, a little bit of sunshine. So we're gonna get out here and try and get as much of a course done as we can um, until the wind picks back up. Um, some exciting things we're working on today. We're getting our second layer of bottles in. We're getting our second stair in. We are just over two hours in and almost done with this full course. Um, I think we're getting quicker at this. Definitely think we can get four courses done this weekend if we keep up this pace. Our bottle wall's really coming together. I think this is gonna look awesome once it's all cobbed over and everything. Kind of going variable, um, just kind of a random sort of color pattern. Depths of bottles, because they're all different, so there's no point in trying to find consistency in here. We're eight days in, we're in course number nine. We're getting to the point of it being difficult to jump up here. We've just been cranking along and I've just been trying to keep up with them um, whenever we are doing electrical. So I'm getting all those boxes in, we're getting the cleats built. Lots of stuff going on today. Crew has been fast today. So I've been trying to get in some of the electrical boxes and you can see I got a little bit ahead of them. Um, so I get a breather for a minute or two, but we still have to get two more boxes in um, on this next course. I got to get the stairs in and we're having some issues on bag work. So I'm, I, I sabotage them so I can catch up. <laughs> this is all our rough and electrical, basically doing these cleats, pretty standard for earth bag stuff just some old scrap wood, um, two by four, or we're using some four by four, cause that's what we had. Nails, and you screw your box in. See, we've got another one over here. One more out over here, somewhere. I think I need to actually buy that box. Um, this is gonna be our front porch. We've got a little outlet there. on day number eight of this build. And we're about three and a half feet high, including our underground section. Uh, so we're over a quarter of the way done with this build. Super, super exciting in eight days to get a quarter of the build done. And pretty soon windows are going in, window frames are going in, which means the courses are gonna get shorter, less bags. So I think we can crank out maybe two or three courses a day pretty regularly, which will be awesome. Just really, really happy with how this is coming out. Our, our bottle work, is doing really well. Um, that's starting to actually take shape and become something. I'm just, I'm just, every day we work on this, I'm blown away with how quickly these walls are going up. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I am loving how this project is coming out. It is such a cool thing to just take the dirt from our ground, 
put it in a bag and make a house. The wonderful thing about Hyper Adobe is that pretty much every bit of it is local materials that we get from our native soil. Uh, we moved over 160,000 pounds worth of dirt, not including the rocks that we had to sift out, to get to this point. We're so close to getting a roof on this thing, getting it sealed up, and getting to move on to the inside. So if you want to see that, be sure to subscribe as we're going to have new videos coming out over the next several weeks and months. And if you are enjoying these videos, if you're enjoying these series, like, subscribe, comment. That kind of thing goes a long way into supporting our channel, supporting our nonprofit, helping us out, letting us know what you like about these videos and what you don't like about these videos. I'm okay with feedback. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Go build something cool.